In uncertain times, people turn to uncertain means. Take a Deep Breath is a book of poetry and art, fables and philosophies. It is aimed at the pandemic of anxiety so many of us are now going through, both in our lives and in our inner spaces. The sciences provide remedies, but so do the arts. The ancient Egyptians wrote curative words on fragments of papyrus that fed the burnt ashes to the afflicted. Lacking morphine, Walt Whitman read verses to fallen soldiers on the battlefields of the first civil war. At their best, the right words are more than therapeutic. They can be curative. Take a deep breath emulates these rituals for living in these uncertain times. I truly hope that these words written while at the peak of this pandemic will serve you as some kind of vaccination against the anxiety of living with uncertainty. If I have faith, then my faith is in reason and our innate longing to know the truth. The truth will not only set us free, but like magic it will transform and strengthen us. What remains unspoken is the white lie that this world is a stable and reasonably predictable place. It is not. The ability to anticipate the unexpected, to make our peace with uncertainty and the unknown, to be ready like a perfectly still cat, to pounce at whichever event next arises from whichever direction it may arise is the greatest survival skill we can hone. I use words here to conjure images, emotions, and ideas in pursuit of this ideal. These interweaving streams of images are invitations to enter the moment of their meaning and their significance, to bring you to the moment that these words you are reading acquire meaning. These are the words that remain unspoken. They will not be spoken, they cannot be spoken. They are what remains unsaid. Take them, these words, for what they are worth, for they are all that are truly mine and all I truly have to give you. In the words of the poet, in the middle of the journey of my life, I came to myself in a dark wood where the direct way was lost. It is hard to speak of how wild, harsh, and impenetrable that wood was, so that thinking of it recreates the fear of it. It is scarcely less bitter than death, but in order to tell of the good that I found there, I must tell you of the other things I saw there as well. Take my hand. I will not abandon you to the dark wood. Hold on tight, but remember when to let go. Now, take a deep breath. Oh, 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 oh.